One of the 21st century skills is creative thinking. Creative thinking generally involves a student developing a new idea or piece of work from research that they have organised and analysed. A feature of OneNote is the ability to use Pages tab to plan, drafts and promote pages to a final copy. In the following example, I will demonstrate how easy it is to create pages and subpages, and then how to promote them and move them to a copy for distribution. To continue on from our previous example, where we examine the use of link notes, we will follow the process of writing a short story from draft to final copy. So what she's done here is set up three tabs. These tabs are called sections in OneNote, and in each section you can set up pages. So if we look at the first tab, the draft one section, we've got the student who's written a blank draft introduction but three different versions ready to go into the main introduction or to be promoted. A few chapters, so if we have a look at that, here's version one, version two of the first um, introduction, and then she's written the chapters for the story. And in the final chapter, she's got two endings. One that she's written and then another one that she thought that she might um, change up if she wanted to change the story. Alright, so here's the first draft, and it's a good idea to keep it how it is, because you never know that after a week or two you might want to go straight back to the original draft and pick up the information from there. So what she can do is work with another draft because she's not ready for her final draft. Now to do that, if I just go back to the top page to make it a little bit easier for me, just right click here on the um, first draft and make a copy of the entire draft. Just like that. So a new section arrives called Draft 1 as well. And if we click the Draft 1, you'll find it's exactly the same, has the same pages and sub-pages as the first draft. Now in this second draft is where she's made some decisions. Well, I think we'll make version 2 the actual, the actual introduction. So we'll move that to the top. All right. Now Draft Introduction becomes now a sub-page, so it's just a case of moving it down. So I just drag and drop across. Same with the ending. I think the ending will be the final chapter, and the final chapter will be the, one of the other sub-pages. Now it doesn't mean it's going to stay that way, because we're only in draft version 1.2. Alright, now, draft 2, which might have happened a week or a month afterwards, is set out like that. Now she's ready, she's read it a little bit, and she's ready to go to a final draft. It's where she might just copy only the pages that she wants into the final draft. So if we start with version 2 as the introduction, we can right click on that and copy it to the final draft. Chapter 1, chapter 2 and chapter 3, same story, move or copy to the final draft, copy and it's moved to the final draft. I can do the same with chapter 3 and chapter 4 if they're there. And also with the endings, now she's made a decision on the ending that it's not going to be that one, it's going to be the alternative ending. So she'll click on that one, move or copy, look for final draft, and copy. Now let's have a look at what final draft looks like. Final draft has her new introduction. I only brought across chapter one. Chapter one's there. And let's have a look at alternative ending. That's there as well. So at this stage, she might, incorporate, she might make that available for someone else to have a look at, an editor to have a look at, make some changes, add another chapter. But if she decides, I really want that first draft copy of the introduction, she can go back to draft one, find that version, which might be version three, and do exactly the same process and promote it to the final copy or the final draft. OneNote is a perfect tool for this sort of thing, where you can get your ideas on a draft, refine them somewhat, add some more research, refine them again, and keep track of all the movements that you make, because you might want to go back and grab the information that you had right in the first place. So OneNote really lends itself to creative thinking due to the fact that you can move from the beginning to the end and end up with a final product that's completely new.